part three of this video series, I'm going to show you the how-to basics of using and navigating through the Faculty Center's grade roster to view grades as well as inputting and saving grades, plus some important information on how grades are posted. Also be sure to view part four of the final video of this series as we cover the techniques for searching for classes. And don't forget parts 1 and 2 in this series on how to navigate and use the Faculty Center for my schedule, the weekly schedules in part 1, and the class and photo roster in part 2. Let's begin by logging into WaveNet. Ensure the view is set to Faculty. Navigate to the Faculty Services and click on the Faculty Center. The Faculty Center tab opens with a sub-tab view of My Schedule, viewing the most recent term. You could select the Grade Roster by selecting the Grade Roster sub-tab, but that will display the very first class listed in the My Teaching Schedule for that term. The quickest way to view a specific grade roster is to first identify the term Locate the class, then select the grade roster icon for that class. To begin, we'll change to the desired term. Use the left mouse button to click on the Change Term button to view a list of other terms to select. Click on the grade roster icon. Keep in mind that the grade roster icon will not be visible until the grade roster has been created. Notice for each student there is a roster grade pull-down selection allowing you to input grades individually. Another great entry technique is by using the checkboxes on the left you may select multiple students who will get the same grade. Then use the pull-down selection to select the grade. Then select the button Add This Grade to Selected Students. Use the Clear All to remove the selected students. Also note the ability to select all students as well. Let's say you wish to start over and clear everyone's grades. To do this, select All. Ensure the grade drop-down is blank. Select Add This Grade to Selected Students. All grades are now cleared and you may start over again. As the message is noted above and below the grade roster, always remember to save after entering your grades. And that's even though not all grades have been inputted because WaveNet will automatically time out and log you out after 30 minutes of inactivity. Thus, any grades not saved will be lost. Notice that after the save, the grade status remains pending. Now, let's take a look at another grade roster with a very large student enrollment. The class size here is over 200 students. Consequently, by default, the roster only displays the first 50 students enrolled. Optionally, you may choose to select View 100 link, which is the maximum number of students to view. Notice this link will toggle between View 50 and View 100 rows at a time. However, in our example here, there's more than double that number of 100 students. Thus, it is very important that you use the view scroll arrows to scroll in groups of 50 or 100 through all of the rows of students for very large classes to ensure a grade has been assigned to all students.
Again, it is important to click Save at the bottom of the grade roster to save all grade assignments and any changes. Note the text message adjacent to the Save button. Your grades have been saved. You may make additional changes until the grades are posted by the Registrar's Office. The pending status is the default status of all grades saved or not until the Registrar's Office runs their grade posting process. Note that this process happens at various times during the grading period for each school and session. Once the Registrar's Office runs their grade posting process, the status of the student grades will be changed to Posted. Note that this message remains on the page even during subsequent saves until you log out of WaveNet or click to a different part of the Faculty Center. After which the message resets back to be sure to click Save after entering your grades. Once all of the grades on the roster have been posted by the Registrar's Office, all message reminders along with the Save button will disappear from the roster. That's it for the grade roster. Please go to part 4 of this video series to view how to search for classes. That concludes the tour in the how to navigate through the Faculty Center. You may wish to navigate back to the WaveNet homepage or if finished please log out of WaveNet. Thank you for watching.